everything went well last time for the for the king and say, you know, just like you're saying now, what physically, mentally, the training, what's different from 2022 to 2024? Is it the the wind streak, the active pulling? You've just worked out more training. What what's what's so different? Because you look different. You look stronger. You look dense. I, I say denser because when we caught up last year before your dentist match, I was, I was like, dude, you look bigger, but you're like, but I'm lighter. Yeah. I'm lighter. So I'm gonna use the word you look more denser. I mean, you've got veins on your body thicker than my arms. Yeah. So Physically, it's interesting because um, physically, I do believe that I am physically stronger and I think it's visible, uh, but the weight scale says otherwise. I, I am not heavier than I was last time. I'm lighter. Uh, but there's been a trend of me getting lighter over the last uh, over the last good year. I kind of, uh, yeah, like you always try and get bigger and stronger and bigger and eating. Um, but there came a point um, maybe a couple of years ago, like it just started to get harder for me to uh, overeat productively. You know, like as a young strength athlete, you're overeating all the time, you're forcing food and it's resulting in, you know, growth, but it doesn't seem to work that way for me anymore. Like I find when I, when I overeat, it just results in my body not working as well. Like, uh, so I just, now I eat more responsibly, um, and I find, but the strength is still going up and, and I do think that my structure looks different in terms of training. There's a difference, uh, in terms of, um, you know, medical intervention, <laughs> massive difference. Mm -hmm. Um, so what are those differences? Last time when I, I always like when I have an opponent, I kind of try to, uh, I try to kind of assess their strengths and weaknesses and see how I can fit in best. And I think that that has diminished a little bit instead of kind of looking at the opponent and kind of seeing where I fit in. It's, it's become more that, um, I'm just always trying to be the very best I can be. Um, in terms of what I what I know that the sport asks. So last time I faced Levon, I made like concessions in my training. So I thought, okay, this guy's strength is completely astronomical. It's completely just on a on a level that I'm just not going to get to. Um, so I didn't try to fight him there which is a massive error. It's a huge mistake. Even if you're not as strong as someone, you can never deprioritize the gaining and acquisition of, of strength, maximal strength, maximal power, like any backward step in those two uh, physical components is, uh, is, in my opinion, never wise. Um, even if your game plan is different, like even if you have a game plan to tire somebody out or uh, fight them endurance, you need strength, you need power above every, every other thing. So last time I trained primarily to beat him through work capacity. Yeah. So, yeah. So I went at the match training for like really high intensity work capacity over six rounds. That was, that was what I did. I did, I did these circuits where I was lifting a lot of weight for like probably like a minute and a half or so at a time where it was like basically redlining for like a minute, minute and a half, you know, rest minute and a half or so rest minute and a half or so rest for six rounds. Right. And, 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 and you know, while that's nice to have, it's not what arm wrestling is about. It's not like you need that capacity to be super strong in an instant so so that's been the big change in my training and i've just prioritized this capacity since i pulled levon last time every day basically and every workup that i've done that's been the priority um so and i and i and from levon i was like okay it's all about rise and roll rise and roll rise and roll i pulled gennady 
and I threw the trump card out there and I'm like, okay, I have to round out everything. So I did, I, I definitely added inside component to my game. Um, and truthfully, that's probably the biggest change. That will probably be the biggest change that is perceivable by people I pull now is, uh, you know, as compared to a few years ago is how complete I am in my inside game. I don't show it a lot. I really don't like, I don't, I don't practice a lot pulling on the inside, but believe me, it is there. My ability to bring my shoulder forward, um, comfortably smoothly it's there. I can do it. I can 100% do it and I can do it quite powerfully at the moment. So my wrist is good. Everything. Um, okay. So that's basically my training difference. Um, you know, I didn't go to a lot of clubs this year. I didn't travel around. I stayed with my own. I stayed with the high hookers. It was, it was really nice. You know, yeah. I, I've made um, kind of a, a comparison a lot to uh, Goldilocks. Ha! Cool yeah. job. <laughs> you know? Please, please enlighten me. Pl oh, well, that, that's the way I feel about my training these days is I, I'm basically figured out just right. Yeah. I, I've figured out how to make it just right. You know, uh, I've not done too little. I've not done too much. I've done just the right amount. And and that includes that I, I made the conscious decision with this work up, which is not normal for me. I made the decision to stay at home a lot, a lot. Basically I did. I didn't leave home. Yeah. I didn't like, I didn't go on any trips really, uh, really prioritized staying at home. And I only trained with the high hookers and, and I did so purposefully. I thought that, um, you know, by working up with the club, we would all kind of get on the same rhythm. We'd get on the same patterns and we'd all kind of come up together. Um, and, and it worked very well. And, and then there's the medical side, you know, before Levon, I had not taken stem cells. Yeah. Um, and since Levon, I have taken a lot of stem cells. Like just, just a couple of hits. <laughs> Probably more stem cells than almost anybody on the planet, I'm thinking. <laughs> but like a lot. I've taken a lot. Thank you. Thank you, by the cell, you know. Um and and I want to throw out a couple things out there really quickly. Um, people are like, oh, Devin, you're just a marketing tool. I paid for stem cells. A lot of people don't know that. I paid, okay. I paid for them, okay? I I fell in love with stem cells, got crazy about stem cells after I paid, after I um, after I saw all the people who had treatment and seen the stories and done a little bit of research, I got crazy about it. Then I got affiliated with Vitacell. And yes, okay, they have been so kind to me. All right. But but it I believe in the product extremely. Another thing that, you know, I posted a video the other day about my wrist and hand. Um, did you see that, Ozzy? Yeah. Yeah. In the members. Right. Uh, uh, now, it is, it is true that um, the first thing, the first imaging device was an MRI. And this was like a super upscale ultrasound. Okay. So it is not the same thing. However, uh, a high level ultrasound is still able to pick up all sorts of stuff. It is still able to detect all sorts of changes. And they had the images on file to compare to while they were doing the test. It was done in the same, like it's with affiliation with the same company. Okay. These guys are the guys who hooked me up with the initial MRI. We didn't have time to do an MRI right there, but they had the system right there. So we did it. Um, so while it's not quite as accurate, it's still really good. Like it's a very, very good ultrasound. Okay. So I was a best case scenario. I'm like, okay, my tendons and ligaments are going to be healed. Tendons, ligaments, musculature, hundred percent integrity. Yeah. Zero sign of any, any damage, wear and tear. Okay. More interestingly than that joint space. Okay. 
I have now significant joint space. I was bone on bone everywhere, bone on bone everywhere. I have joint space now. And the craziest thing, and I was riddled with bone cysts, bone spurs. Um, I don't have that. That's the part that, that's the part that really blew me away is how the, how the fuck bone spurs going away. Okay. And yes, of course, it's not it's not all because I'm doing a lot of things, right? It's not all just the stem cells, but I cannot help but think they are the major contributing factor. Yeah. So so yeah, totally clean bill of health. Like, um, and I feel that way too. I mean, the imaging says it. I feel it. My performance speaks to it. Um, yeah, buddy, I'm in a good place. I'm in a really good place. Like, 